Hi everyone, John here. Welcome back to Topo Talk number 30. Can you believe it? Number 30. And in number 29, we looked at this section here of this retopo. So how to reduce the edge count so that we could get this section here to join this section here and not mess up the curvature. And I've been working my way down here and I want to just talk about this part here because now I'm in a situation where I want to increase the edge count. And uh, so I've got an, enough geometry to take it through here and um, be able to create this section here. Because you can see I've only got two edges there, which is not going to be enough to be able to create some stuff in here. I could always extrude down, extrude out, and then cut some loops in there. But I think there's a little better way because I'd like to add a little bit more curvature to this section here as well. So let's take a look. First thing I want to do is I was looking at these edges here. I've got these two loops running through here. And you'll remember that we made these diamonds to, in order to be able to do that. Um, we put loops through here. I think I can take one of those out. I think we can actually grab that one and dissolve it. Let's just take this, this, and this and dissolve that. And I'll just take this one and merge it to there, this one and merge it to there. So that way, we don't need that loop through there. And we're still not messing it up. So let's reduce that. So you'll find yourself adding loops, you know, adding cuts in some areas. And then when you work down in other areas, you might be able to remove that cut, just like we did there, partly because it's in the way or, you know, out of necessity, or partly because it's no longer necessary because of geometry you've added later. What we want to do here. And I'm going to use a paid add-on for this. First of all, I'll show you how to do it without the add-on. So what we want to do is add a couple of loops through here. So we could um, now obviously cut through there and there and there and they're like that and here and here and here and here like that. And then just cut across here. And that gives us a you know, quad there and a quad there. I'm not messing up the curvature there because we haven't actually taken the cuts that far. But now we've got these extra loops in here and we could work those. I'm going to undo that. That's one way you could do it. Another way is to use Kushido's um, slide edge tool, slide edge functionality. So I'm going to select that and that. I'm going to go all the way across to here actually, here, here, and this, and this, and this. And I could right click and choose slide edge, it's down the bottom here, or use my shortcut, which is Shift Alt S. And that will just clone that edge. And I'll just slide that in there. So that's a functionality brought from Cinema 4D into Blender. And it's very useful. I've just got to slide these back. It's not perfect, that tool, but it definitely is a time saver. I've got to get rid of that one. Where is it? Come back here, you. This one. Bring that one back. That wasn't very good, was it? Okay. So that one just needs to be put to there like that. And there like that. So apart from the time it took to do the cleanup, um, generally it's a pretty good tool. That's got to be actually snapped in to there like that. And this one's got to be coming come in here like this. And like that. Okay, so now we've got no problems in here. And we've got these extra loops in here. So I could just bring that forward and bring this one forward like that. I do have snapping on. I think it's um, face nearest. And so I wanted to, I could just bring that back there like that. So grab that one too. Bring these out and these out. So now I've got that you know, extra curvature in here. That's snapping in there nicely now. And this one should snap too like that. A little bit of extra curvature there. You know, you could always. Um, even out the distribution of those just by using loop tools space. It's good to 
keep it tidy as you go. Um, let me just grab this one and this one. Just space those out. Okay, and so now I just, you know, extrude this down like that. You know, I might be able to go into point mode, grab that one, and come up and choose active element. And I'll just make sure with this shift key held down, I'll choose vertex. Just to add that option. And I want to grab that one and snap. There we go. And that's merged that together. Okay. And then I would just come and grab these and you know, extrude these out. Probably do that again. Does anything like that. And then just keep working through here. So I'll just leave it at that today. So just increasing the edge count here so that we've got more to work with down here. I'll keep working through it and I might even have to increase it even more. So we'll see. I'm sure I'm going to come up with lots of other things that we can talk about as I continue to work through this. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another tip.